Hello and welcome to our new video on how to play Mahjong. Uh, today we're going to discuss Mahjong skills beyond the basics. And uh, we're going to talk about some intermediate, slightly more advanced Mahjong techniques that you can add to your repertoire as a Mahjong player. One of the things that Mahjong players who are beginners tend to do is that they look for the easiest tiles to match first. And well, that's a, you know, that's a valid strategy. If you want to kind of take your Mahjong skills to the next level, you have to start thinking ahead a little bit and, and try and think like two or three or more moves ahead of where you are uh, so that you can kind of build some momentum throughout the game and also avoid getting in a situation where you have trapped yourself without any options of tiles to to match, you know, like, because that's one of the risks of Mahjong is that you might find that you've painted yourself into a corner, so to speak, uh, where you have, you know, you've gotten to the point where the available tiles aren't able to match in a way that frees up the other tiles that you need to, to finish the game. It's kind of hard to visualize that just based on that description, but, uh, you know, you might, you might see some examples um, as we move forward. Uh, Another you know intermediate mahjong technique to keep in mind is that you want to uh, ideally you want to try and focus on certain areas of the stack first. You want to try and match tiles from the top of the stack first, uh, and also from the outermost sides of the stack. Uh, and the reason is the the mahjong tiles at the top of the stack tend to. Um, you know obviously that just because they're at the top of the stack there are other tiles underneath and so when you match tile uh, tile pairs or tiles from the top of the stack you're going to uncover new tiles that you didn't know were there and then that's going to you know expand your options of tiles to match so that's uh, so, so kind of basically that's like an intermediate you know slightly more advanced than beginner perspective on mahjong is you want to keep expanding your choices you want to keep opening up new possibilities of tiles to match as you move through the game and this will hopefully help you build momentum. So let's play Mahjong. Uh, I'm going to start at the top of this stack and I want to um, start uh, matching tiles on, on the top as soon as possible. Fortunately there's a pair already here. Uh, this little number one flower tile, that, that horizontal blue line is the Chinese symbol for one, which is easy enough, it's just one mark left to right. Uh, and the only reason why I wouldn't maybe want to make this match is, you know, is, is there another number one flower tile somewhere else that we need to get off the board so that we can uncover some other tile that we need? And since this is just the first pair of the game, first matched pair of tiles of the game, I think we're safe to go ahead and match those. Let's see what, what we've got here. We've got a few number three character tiles. Um, We've got, let's see, is that a, is that a six or a seven? I can't remember. That's an eight, I think, a number eight character. I can't remember the numbers. I need to, I need to bone up on my Chinese numbers, Chinese numerical characters. Um, but we should try and get these topmost tiles matched first if we can. Here's a number two flower tile, and there's another one over here. So I think... That might be a safe move to make. Just go ahead and get this top one out of the way, and then we've got a number uh, a number character tile here that needs to be matched. And I'm not seeing an immediate possibility for that. Um, there's one over here, but it's covered up by a six bamboo tile. And there's a character tile up here that would need to be matched before we can uncover the matching pair for this one. So maybe we should do that. Maybe that should be the play we make. So now we have to decide which character which character tile do we want to match. Whoops, sorry. I'm gonna click undo. <coughs> so we have a few options. We could match that one and that one. We could match this one and this one. Or we could match this one and this one. And 
And in general, it's usually a good idea to think about you know, which tiles am I going to need most once I get them uncovered. Like which tile is a little more rare. It might be useful to match with other tiles. Um, sorry, I'm still thinking. Why don't we just do the easy thing for now? Well, I see I'm always... There's never an easy thing in Mahjong. Because when you have options, you want to think carefully and make sure that you're making the right choice. I think I want to match this character and this character because that will uncover this blue rectangle piece, which might be useful soon because there's a, there are three other blue rectangle pieces that are going to need to be matched. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uncover the blue rectangle. That uncovers this character tile to get rid of the rest of the top layer. And now we're down uh, to the second most top layer. And... Let's start to think about what else we can do to match some more tiles. Here's a two character. I'm going to match that one there. There's a couple of three characters. I'm going to match those. There's an eight circle blue tile here. I'm going to match that. And what else do we have here? I'm going to match that. See that three character tile? I want to match that one with uh, that, that upper layer one. And I need to get that other character piece out of the way. And so that is going to be a good move, I hope. There. Uh, another reason is I wanted to try and make a little more progress on this top row uh, by matching up some of the outermost pieces. Sometimes I found in playing Sudoku that if you aren't careful, if you if you ignore this lower row and this topmost row, uh, sometimes you can get a lot of tiles that get trapped. So, with that in mind, let's look at the bottom row. I can match a bullseye. And I'm going to match that bullseye because it opens up another bullseye that can be matched. Here's a blue rectangle. I could match that one. Why don't... Well, actually, why don't we match... Yeah, let's match this blue rectangle. This three circle tile. And I see another blue rectangle tile. can be matched along with that nine bamboo tile. So we're making some progress here, chipping away at it a little bit. And now, let's go back to that top layer. Here's a character tile with its match right here, number, number tile. So that one goes away. It's a directional tile. That one goes away. So number one flower tile, and we've got a pair there. I think we're safe to make that match. Why don't we go ahead and do that? So now you see we've got four number two flower tiles right here. We've got this bird tile, which I feel fine making that match right there.
and um, I'm still trying to look at the top layers and see I see this green dragon tile has a match right there why don't we match those two get them off the board I want to get this nine bamboo piece out of here um, and there are a couple of options for how to do this because there's a nine bamboo piece right down here which would open up a three a number three character tile or there's this other nine bamboo piece here which would open up that number tile um, I'm just not sure which one's the right one to do I'm not sure which one I need more I'm not sure which piece is more important to uncover right now so I'm gonna dawdle on that one for a minute and instead Here's a three bamboo piece. Let's uncover that one. I see one, two, three, four of this number tile. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, usually if you've got four tiles of the same kind that are all uncovered, it's usually a pretty safe move to go ahead and match them. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. match that number two I'm thinking back on this nine bamboo tile right here I see one two three four options right now that are ready to match Ah, uh, heck, why don't, let's just go for it. Fortune favors the bold. Okay, I, I'm looking ahead here. I've, I see a number two bamboo piece, which needs to be matched with that top piece, but in order to get that, I've got to match this one right here. This number tile. And... In order to do that, I've got to uncover another number tile to match it, which requires moving this five circle tile, which I can do. So there's that. There's that. There's that. <coughs> so all of a sudden I had some momentum. I got to make three, three quick matching pairs. It's based on a single move. Um, let me look back at the topmost layer here. There's a red dragon piece which needs to go, but this number one flower piece has to be matched first, and I don't immediately see its matching partner, and so we're kind of limited in what, in what we can do with that. Um, however, there are several of these number two flowers, one, two, three, four, ready to match. Let's try that. Ah, oh, there's another red dragon. Let's try that. Okay, so here's, oh, there's our number one flower. It just got uncovered, so there's our chance to, to match that top layer red dragon, but we've got to get the three character out of the way first. Here's the red dragon. Let's get that out of the way. And now we've made some pretty significant progress on the top layer. Excuse me, and I've got a four bamboo tile right here, which can be matched. And the game is starting to open up a little bit now. Um, but we have to be cautious here because we don't want to get to a point where we've eliminated our, ourselves from being able to make a match, um, you know, due to not having the right tiles available. So, um, so let's keep, you know, at this point, you just have to be kind of, kind of cautious and diligent, and make sure that you're not being overly quick to match the wrong tiles. Um, in a way that might limit your future options. So let's see. Um, I've got a character tile right here that I would like to match because it's in the top layer and it'll open up another a nine bamboo tile which should hopefully be pretty easy to match because it's pretty common in this stack. Um, I've got two options for what to match this character tile with. 
And I think I'm going to choose I'm going to choose to wait a moment because I'm not sure. If I choose this one, it uncovers the three bamboo tile, which could be used to mesh with that three bamboo tile, which opens up this eight circle tile. But I don't currently see another eight circle tile to match that with. So I could also match this character with the top character piece, which would open up this other character tile. Uh, that's the east wind tile. That symbol in Chinese means east. But in order to match that piece, I need to uncover this piece by matching this with that. So hey, you know, here's what I'll do. I'll match that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, those two. Get that green dragon out of here. And now we've just really opened up the game quite a bit with that quick little burst of momentum that we had. Um, the challenge is what do we do next? What do we do next? How do we keep the momentum going? This three bamboo piece can go away. And now, <laughs> now I feel a little bit stuck because I'm not sure what to do next. Um, you're seeing this happen in real time. This is real mahjong playing happening before your very eyes. I'm feeling a little bit stuck because, well, let's see, what do we have here? Every move that I would like to make is kind of blocked at the moment. Um, so these two number character tiles could be matched, but there's nothing to match this one with. I can't match these two together because one of them's covered up by the other. I'd like to match those two red dragons, but they're all covered up. I would like to match this character tile with that one, but that six circle piece is covering it up. And so I think what I'm going to do is shuffle. Shuffling adds a minute to your time, so it technically affects your score. But if you get to the point where you're feeling stuck and there's no other way to solve the puzzle, then you really have to do it. And uh, reshuffling, so the same number of tiles on the board, so the same tiles on the board, they're just in different positions. Now we can match that one and that one, get those character pieces out of the way. And let's see. Trying to see my next move here. I'm going to match this number piece, or sorry, this number tile with this one, that six bamboo with that one. Two green dragons. Those two number tiles. Uh, 
there's bamboo tiles, six circles. And what else? What else? Those two number tiles, these two red dragons. There's number tiles. And now we're making some more progress. problem that I'm running into is I can't find a match for this little two number tile because that's blocking some other tiles that I would like to be able to match all of these that are in the interior of this row And right now I'm out of valid moves. <laughs> Game over. What do you want to do? You can play again or you can shuffle. I'm going to shuffle. Sorry, I'm probably not looking like much of an expert right now. But sometimes this happens. You get these games where you get a little bit stuck. All right. I'm going to get this top one out of the way. See what we've got left to work with here. Four circles. Eight bamboo. I'm going to keep chipping away from the outsides. Number two, now as you can see I'm going to be stuck again, I'm going to be stuck again because, so I'm going to shuffle one more time, hopefully that will open it up a little bit more. I'm still stuck. I can't match this one with that one. I can't match this one with that one. I'm going to shuffle one more time. And then finally I can solve it. Alright, so that's the end of the game. It wasn't the neatest, cleanest game. I had to shuffle a few times. But hopefully you got a sense of what's involved with uh, some more intermediate techniques of like looking ahead, thinking a few steps ahead, Try not to trap yourself. Try not to paint yourself into a corner. And uh, hopefully, next time you play Mahjong, you'll be better equipped to start taking a broader vision of the, of the board and, you know, thinking about each move and recognizing the, the various options in front of you and continuing to build momentum and open up additional opportunities to match more and more tiles as the game goes on. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.